Hello, I'm Kira Shattuck, principal of the girls' school. My name is Jeremy Irwin, and I am principal of the boys' school. Hi, I'm Jim Adams. I'm the managing director of the Academy of the New Church Secondary Schools. Welcome to ANC. We are standing on the steps of our main school building, Benade Hall. Each day, this is where our students enter the school building. They're usually dropped off out in front, either by bus or car, and we have some community members who walk to school. Many of our older students drive themselves, while our resident students can simply walk across that campus. Let's have a look at our academic facilities. Hi, my name is Mary Odner, and welcome to the school store. In addition to providing stationery, snacks, and swag, it is also a hub of activity and a bit of a social hangout during breaks in the schedule. This is where visitors to the school sign in. Hi, I'm Barry Halterman. I'm the chaplain and religion department head here at the Academy of the New Church. Every day after a 10 to 15 minute homeroom, all our students and faculty file down into the auditorium for a brief 10 minute message on how to focus on our spiritual life, delivered by a member of the pastoral staff or a visiting minister. Hopefully the message resonates throughout the day. Teachers and coaches often have an occasion to bring up the message again that day and to share it with their students. This is the third floor of Benade Hall. This is basically the hub for the girls' school. The girls' school and the boys' school share facilities and faculty. About half of our classes are co-ed. This classroom is largely a girls' school classroom. Hi, I'm Erica Stein, Director of Educational Support, which is located here on the third floor of Benade Hall off the Student Center. We're responsible for managing students' academic accommodations and modifications. We provide support and classes for students who need it, as well as managing the homework coaching program, which enables students to develop their academic skills in the afternoon. Hi, I'm Kendra Knight. I manage and monitor the Student Center, which consists of a few different spaces. First, we have our library, a collection of books and materials, which we refer to as the stacks. ANC students are also automatically members at the Swedenborg Library on the campus of Bernathan College across the street. Then we have various spaces such as our Mac Lab, a storage area for portable Chromebooks, and our TV area. Teachers can schedule to use any of these spaces with their classes, but they are also popular spots for students to socialize at the end of lunch and after school. Here on the fourth floor of Benade Hall, we have the bulk of our science classrooms. This classroom houses sophomore boys biology and physics, which is a co-ed class. This classroom is dedicated to human anatomy and physiology, which is a single gendered senior year science class. Across this archway is DeCharms Hall. The boys school offices are housed here on the second floor and the bulk of the single sex education for the boys' school happens on this floor and on the floor above. In this classroom, freshman boys and junior boys study English. This classroom on the third floor is dedicated to both single gender and co-ed mathematics. And here we have the first floor of DeCharms Hall which includes a larger classroom to accommodate some of our bigger classes, as well as faculty meetings and other such gatherings. And we have a fully equipped kitchen for those courses that have a cooking component as part of their curriculum. And lastly, a Chromebook lab for all of the students' use. I'm Keith Gruber, head of the Fine Arts Department. We're fortunate to have this Fine Arts building on the other side of Benade Hall dedicated exclusively to the fine arts. This gallery on the second floor houses art exhibitions, as well as occasional dances and other school events. Off to either side are two arts classroom, where the fundamentals of fine arts course is taught to freshmen, and printmaking courses also take place. Here in the mezzanine, overlooking the hall, we scheduled our drawing and painting classes.
Up here on the top floor is a space dedicated to choral and instrumental music. With several small specialty classrooms, this is also where the advanced, year-long visual arts portfolio class takes place. Down here on the ground floor, we have our fine arts offices, a space for our unique stained glass offering, a ceramics lab, a photography classroom and darkroom, And now for performing arts, we need to hop across campus. Hello, I'm Sarah Cooper Welkley, producer for our theater program. And I'm Chris Welkley, head of the Performing Arts Department. Here at the Mitchell Performing Arts Center, or MPAC, ANC puts on two shows a year, as well as four concerts featuring our choral and instrumental ensembles, performing arts portfolio class, and dance team. Downstairs, we have our scene shop which also serves as a lab for our unique, award-winning stagecraft course. Facilities include the green room and theatrical dressing rooms. I'm Dr. Dylan Odner. As a teacher of medieval history, I have the luxury of bringing my students over to Glencairn Museum, which is owned by the Academy. The museum is located just across Huntington Pike from ANC and specializes in the history of world religions and religious art. Along with the teachers of many other courses, I can call on the staff at Glencairn to help us to use the collection and resources here at the museum to illustrate key ideas in our core curricula. Next door to Glencairn is Cairn Wood, the Beaux-Arts estate of the industrialist and early academy founder John Pitcairn. This facility, also owned by the Academy, is rented out to the public, but it also continues to develop educational resources that tie into the mission of ANC and is available for ANC events. Together with the Bernathan Cathedral, which is operated by the Bernathan Church, these amazing buildings form the Bernathan Historic District. Hello, it's Keith Gruber again. We've moved back across the Huntington Pike where I am also the head of the boys' dormitory, Stewart Hall. We work hard to develop a nurturing and supportive dorm community and try to make our dorms as much like home as possible. The front entrance welcomes you into the main lounge where students are greeted at the front desk by the dorm staff and where much of the social interaction and dorm meetings take place. The lounge connects to two wings, each with a top and bottom floor where the student dorm rooms are located. Each dorm room is equipped with a bed, armoire, dresser, chair, and desk area for each student. A college RA lives on each hallway, and there are between six and eight rooms that share a well-equipped bathroom. There is a laundry facility and additional storage space allotted to each student in the basement. And to best support and care for the residents, the five housemaster apartments are all connected to or adjacent to the dorm itself. Hi, I'm Meryl Simmons, head house mother of Glen Hall. Glen Hall is a safe place for the girls to land at the end of the day and has several spaces where residents host their friends and family after school and on the weekends. As you enter, you're greeted by the front desk, which is the hub of our operation, where girls can find on-duty staff members and pick up their mail. The main lounge is used for both informal gatherings and larger groups. Our kitchen is fully equipped. The computer room is furnished with a printer. And the backyard expands our social space and is used year round. The living quarters of the dorm consist of two halls on each of our three floors. Each hall has a shared bathroom. rooms for eight residents and one RA. The house mothers live in apartments located at the end of the halls. The bedrooms are large and each resident gets their own closet, dresser, desk, and bed. Some nice features are the full cork boards, blackout shades, and control of the heating and air conditioning units. Heading up the grand staircase is our second floor lounge. It's a popular spot for takeout food and movie marathons. Up on the third floor, we have the piano lounge, and you'll also find the deca lounge, which is for our members of our dorm social club. Take a ride down the elevator to the basement, and down here, residents have access to vending, coinless laundry facilities, trash room, and storage to keep belongings safe over the summer for returning students. 
Nestled between our two dormitories is our dining hall with its serving area, two first floor dining rooms that also double as presentation spaces, and second floor dining space and conference room. Our food vendor, Sage, works hard to provide food that is delicious, fresh, and nutritionally sound. Sage and our school work together to protect our students with food allergies and to maintain a high standards of cleanliness throughout the facility. Hello, I'm Crystal Smith. I'm the director of the Deering Clinic at the Academy of the New Church in Bernathan, Pennsylvania. Come on in, I'd like to give you a tour. In our clinic space here, we have two locations for students to receive uh, counseling here on campus. But this is especially useful for dorm students that don't have to then be transported somewhere else to receive counseling support. We have two examination rooms, and then we have another conference room back here where we can have meetings with parents and also with students and counselors and faculty if, if needed or principals. We have two cot rooms available if a student isn't feeling well, but they're, they're well enough to stay at school, but they don't need to go home sick. So they have an ability to come lay down here for about 20 or 30 minutes and take a break. We have a exam room here that we can use for when our physician comes on campus twice a week to see the students. They, he has all the medical supplies he needs and he can do his evaluation in this examination room. We have a separate entrance here at the Deering Health Clinic that we are going to dedicate to a space for students that are suspected with COVID. And we are going to take this storage room here and convert it starting tomorrow into a spot for the students to stay. We will have a zipped wall here where, that is clear where the nurses can watch the student and keep track of them until the student is able to be picked up by their parents. They'll be able to exit out the same door they came in which will provide a safe and limited, con limited to no contact for any other students that might be at the clinic. Okay, so in 2013, we installed our security camera system throughout our entire campus. And this was in addition to our card access, which keeps all of our doors secured. Every student has a card access swipe. And just recently, we installed phones in every one of our classrooms and we're also looking at ways to better lock down our classrooms in the case of an emergency. So we're very safety conscious here at the Academy. Hi, my name is Jim Kalavik and I'm the Director of Public Safety. Our office is located here in Pitcairn Hall and is a shared service between the overall Academy and the local church entities. We provide service 24 seven and coordinate with the heads of school on drills, training and education regarding matters of safety. In addition, the Bernathan Police Department and fire department are actually located on ANC property just across Buck Road from the main campus. Hi, I'm Jackie Pennick, the Girls School Athletic Director. Hi, I'm Brandon Osplund, Boys School Athletic Director. The Osplund Fieldhouse is home to ANC's athletics and physical education departments. In addition, it accommodates a variety of school activities that require large spaces and is sometimes used by the Brynathen community for large social events. Two large gymnasiums allow for multiple sporting events or practices at once. Our indoor sports are volleyball and basketball for the girls. And basketball and wrestling for the boys. The lower level contains the wrestling room, locker rooms for home and away teams, coaches' offices, and the athletic training room, which is staffed by a full-time athletic trainer. The fitness center has a separate entrance and serves physical education classes, our strength and conditioning program, and provides training opportunities for our students and staff. The dance studio is home to our extracurricular dance team, which is offered all three terms. PE classes are held here, and it is a rehearsal space for the spring musical. A proud new addition to our athletic facilities is the batting cage, which will serve the boys' baseball and the girls' softball teams. Ebert Field is used by our football and lacrosse teams. Simmons Field is used for our practices. Spalding Field is used by our baseball and soccer team. The lower field is used by our softball team and the Richard R. Gladish tennis courts are home to our girls' tennis program. Over on the Bryn Athen College campus, we share the Youngie Pavilion with the college. For us, it serves primarily as a home for our girls' and boys' ice hockey teams, but occasionally provides a venue for social events. The newest addition to the athletic facilities is the Terry and Eileen Glenfield. 
the new turf field is home to girls field hockey and girls lacrosse. We hope you enjoyed our virtual tour. If you would like to tour our campus in person, please call the admissions office at 267-502-2539.